In this demonstration, we will be walking through the new tiering functionality built into Hypercore. It's called HEAT, Hypercore Enhanced Automated Tiering. Now what you're looking at on screen is a three node HC2150 cluster where in every node we've paired one SSD with three nearline SAS disks. Under the hood, we take all of the storage of all of the drives, including the SSDs, and aggregate that together into a couple of pools. A pool of SSD, and right behind that, a pool of spinning disks. Now we present that to the user in a, in a pretty simple manner, and that's kind of the how-to that I'd like to walk through in this demonstration here. So we'll create a new virtual machine, and give it a name and a description, a tag if we need that. And just like we always would, we'll carve up the resources that are needed for this particular workload. Now all the drives that we're creating on the system are thinly provisioned. I'll actually create a few of them so you can kind of see the flexibility of what the tiering functionality allows. And click Create. And now that that's created, what you'll notice is that every virtual disk that I assigned in that creation process is here present, and I can go in and edit those. By default, they're given what's called a flash priority of number four. And that is a what we would call a normal access to the flash pool. So every virtual block device, every virtual disk that you're creating when you create a VM has a priority of flash set to it, assuming you have a minimum of three nodes with SSD in your cluster. So what that determines is what access it has to the SSD pool for placing hot blocks. So in the background, we take all the relative priorities of all of the individual virtual disks of all of the VMs in the system, and we work out what's hot based on the priority you've assigned and what's cold. And through a heat map, we actually map out from hot to cold where your blocks stand. And we make sure that those hot blocks are on the SSD for the fastest access and make sure that the cold blocks you don't need to access as often are sitting on spinning disk. By default, as I said, you're assigned a flash priority of four. That doesn't mean you have to stay there. In fact, for this particular C drive, maybe I don't need a flash priority of four. Maybe I need a three or a two or a one. Or let's say it doesn't need any access to flash. With this functionality, I have the ability to pin a particular virtual disk's flash priority all the way to zero and pin that to spinning disk. At the same time, on the same VM, with a separate virtual disk, maybe it needs a higher flash priority. So for this 500 gig drive that we've created, if that's, say, a database that absolutely requires the high IOPS that the SSD pool can provide, I can take that normal four priority and ramp it up one at a time, effectively doubling the priority every step along the way until I get to 11, at which point I'm pinning these all the way to flash, meaning it's not acting as a cache. It's a persistent tier for data to be stored 100% on the SSD. And that's it. If you have any questions about the new heat functionality built into Hypercore, please give us a call at 877-SCALE-59 or visit our website at www.scalecomputing.com.